Well, hey, y'all, Dan here. I hope you enjoyed my last video where I was sharing about the Cherokee Trail. And my plans for documenting that trail this year. As I said in that video, this is a big undertaking and I was wondering why it's 142 miles. That's significant, but you know, we've, we've done more than that. So what's, what is so different from this trail than others that I've hiked? And suddenly it came to me, well, for one thing, this trail is not blazed. I'm blazing the trail as I go. It's somewhat documented and I can find uh, places where it goes through sections, but I'm not sure that anyone in the 21st century has really gone through and hiked the entire Cherokee Trail from the Oklahoma state line up past Gossel, Kansas, and to where it intersects with the Santa Fe Trail going west. Well, I hope to be able to do that at least to do the majority of it. The, the trail goes through a lot of, of private property. I'll be contacting property owners, seeking permission to go across that land. But um, if I don't get it, then I'll have to find some other way of documenting the trail. But I'm excited to get out there and try it. So how can I approach this? When I was in grad school working on my PhD dissertation, I learned that there were five chapters to every dissertation. The first chapter is the introduction. And that's what I did with the last video. And then the second chapter is a review of the literature. I'm going through these two documents that were published by the Fletchers. And these are collections of fragments of journals and diaries that uh, they call the Cherokee Trail Diaries. Volumes one and two go from 1849 to 1850. Volume three goes from 1851 up to 1900. These were immigrants and cattle drives, adventure seekers and outlaws that, were, that used the Cherokee Trail during that period. These are the foundational documents that I'll be referring to and using as I study the Cherokee Trail and sort of form the foundation of the second part, which is the review of literature. In addition to that, the Friends of the Cherokee Trail, I talked about Bob and Linda before, they have developed some th some, also some tools. I'll be using uh, this tool here. This is just a little booklet of, of documents and pictures that they have taken for the Cherokee Trail, uh, the Kansas map. I'll be looking at this and using that and then I'll be looking at survey maps and section maps of trying to really lay out exactly where is this Cherokee Trail. For fun, let's go and look at some a novel. Let's look at Louis L'Amour's The Cherokee Trail and some of the fiction that surrounds the Cherokee Trail from his perspective. And, uh, and then finally, the Wyoming Historic Trails. The Cherokee Trail eventually goes out through Wyoming and um, while I may not be able to do much with that this year, in the future my plan is to take this trail, this Cherokee Trail, and go through Colorado and Wyoming to its, um, to its conclusion in California. But those are projects for a later time. For now, I'm focusing on the Kansas portion from the Kansas border just about 10 miles northwest of Gossel, Kansas, and that's where it intersects the Santa Fe Trail. What's my methodology? That'll be the, the third part of this. How, what's my method to do this? I'll be talking about how I'm approaching uh, identifying where the trail is, what I'm using to, to navigate the trail, what I'm using to document the trail. And I hope to use a variety of tools. I want to use some, uh, my action camera, of course, is what I use when I'm just walking. Uh, I have a new camera that I can use to, uh, to get better results of some of, the, some of the things on the trail, maybe the plant life, the animal life. I'm hoping to be able to document that more uh, with this better camera. And then also, um, 
coming back in here, the editing that I'll be doing and the process and the tools that I use for editing all of these videos, just sort of like to share some of that. Some of this, the technical stuff, it may not be, be as exciting for some of you who want to see the trail, but it may be more exciting for those who are sort of, you know, enjoy the technical aspects of things. I do both. I enjoy both the technical. I like to do the, the editing for these videos, but I also love to be out on the trail. When I did my survey for February of what my viewers might want to see in some videos, 70% of you said that you wanted to see the Cherokee Trail. 30% said you wanted to see the equipment that I use. So I'm going to combine all of that into this series of videos through the year. So the third part is the methodology. And then chapter four of a dissertation is the presentation of the research. What's the results of what I'm doing? And I'll be documenting that. And that's, that sort of lays out into the, the series of videos coming from the trail itself. And then the fifth chapter of a dissertation is the summary, the implications, the conclusions that we draw. And at the end of all of this process, I hope to be able to share those with you. What did I get out of it? And I would like to have a conversation with you to find out what you got out of it. But this will be a long process, and this is going to be a long journey this year of 2023 as we transit together the Cherokee Trail. So come on, let's go walking together.